I have with me my friend, philosopher, and guide, Mr. Bird Hudson. Hello, hello. Bird, thank you so much for taking time to chat with your old good, good old Very buddy. Very much my pleasure, my friend. So, Bert, how about you uh, start by telling us a little bit about who Bert Hudson really is and what is the role he's playing at uh, leading age and uh, the impact that you are having because of your role. Sure. So I have had the pleasure of being here for about a year and a half now. Um, and my role it was um, created in a unique fashion to really start looking at both the internal operations at Leading Age and then how we can actually realign that to effectively disseminate messages, help working with our sponsors, and also just help making sure that the, our field as a whole can kind of interact with what we're doing in different channels outside of just conference sponsorships. Um, and, you know, we were looking at creating different types of content. Um, and just a lot of different ways to keep people engaged at our conferences and after our conferences. Um, so I've just been very fortunate to be here for a while. I'm very fortunate to have known you for so long. And you know, so what, with uh, bringing together a lot of talented people is probably the only talent I have, um, but I'm good at that. So you know, we've been able to bring a lot of new, new energy here and a lot of new uh, faces to help in different types of engagement. Now who I am? That's just up to my wife to decide that. <laughs> so, but you touched on something that I have been learning from you. How to assemble a winning team, be the leader that can make things happen. So what's your view of leadership? What really makes somebody a good leader? You know, the part of being a good leader is knowing what not to do, right? Like I've had a lot of people over the course of my life who did not inspire me and did not manage me in a positive way. So I do like to live by the golden rule and I treat all people the way I would like to be treated. Um, and then when you start doing that, you at least get some of the clutter out of the way, right? And if you find someone with a unique talent and you're able to at least make them feel appreciated, they all work in a way that you cannot pay them to. Like when you get people's heart into doing something, and it's really not a big talent, it's really about respecting people and just making sure that they're in a spot that they um, you know, really can succeed in. And uh, you know, a mutual friend of ours, Greg Dean, he once told me that you know, when people are doing what they like, they do it really well and they work very hard at it. And I learned this lesson when I wrote a press release and I could not write it to save my life. He's like, you know what, I get someone else to do that from now on. It's like, good idea, man. So you know, I think when you match people's talents to their skill set and you treat them in a way that they know they're valued, that you get uh, a kind of teamwork that be, it springs out of a positive environment, you know? Because when people feel like they're going to work and they're able to make an impact and they're also able to be respected, they just, you know, it's a much more pleasurable dynamic and people tend to work a lot harder and a lot more creatively. Wow. Uh, and I'll tell you something. There is nobody that I know who knows how to do this better than you do. <laughs> That's a, quite a compliment, man. <laughs> so let's let's talk about leading age a little bit. Yes. <clears throat> so, what's what's the most exciting thing that you are working on at leading age? You know, the the strength of leading age is really from our people, right? And I know that sounds sort of like generic and almost corny. But you know, we work very closely with our state partners and they work very closely with our members. We work closely with our members. We also work very closely with a lot of the different companies that we've been talking to today. And the way that we're now, we've worked for a long time to help bring all of that together and have it really work to complement each other. So as we're now seeing this initiative take place, I feel like it's gonna start taking, bringing all these elements together and working in a lot more effective way because when people have the ability to communicate and also gather uh, you know, information they want to see, they, they'll really end up starting to be more engaged. And so watching all of these people come together is amazing. And I have to give a lot of credit to our CEO, Katie Sloan, who has been um, really working very closely with a lot of our state partners and a lot of the people who really breathe a lot of energy into this, this environment. I mean, I even say when I came to the leading age annual meeting the first time everyone told me like this got this great vibe to it it's like old home week everyone loves each other there it's like you're seeing old friends and it's just this great like almost party atmosphere and I was like yeah right like it's a conference right it's a conference but no it really is and you know having this amount of people this energized is a wonderful asset and then us now funneling that energy in different mediums and new mediums is just exciting to see you know we've seen a lot of that 
with our, the talent and cast and you know just the the engagement that's been there and so we just try to help give exposure and then people just kind of run with it now you bought, you brought up cast and i completely agree with you when i came here and looked at the energy and everything else out here it blows my mind away oh yeah so um cast it's the crown jewel it's like a hidden uh, treasure within leading age so firstly thanks for bringing me into cast because i was able to learn a lot about the uh, long term care industry and see the applicability of technology in this so what's what are your thoughts about cast what is the future of cast look like cast has the most amazing talented people working in it and they've been doing so much work and so much engagement that it's almost like they're their own association and but we don't want them to be their own association we are part of our family and so you know the giving a lot more support to cast is um, somewhat easy because they already are being run in such a wonderful way maj has brought such a great group of people together and he is able to get all this great thought leadership so when i first came to annual meeting and saw the cast commission i mean i was blown away and that's when i called you and you came to the next cast commission meeting and it's just you, he has these really talented group of people who are really just helping to to show what technology can do in this area and it's it's on really on the ground providing actual tools actual resources to really help improve the care to help improve some of the office operations i mean it's improving everything the the world is just run in technology um, in such a miraculous way now. And Maj has really brought all of these people together. All I'm trying to do is trying to really help support them because it is this crown jewel and we now want to make sure that our marketing team, our communication team, our business development team, everyone is supporting that just amazing work that's being produced out of CAST. It's amazing the, the people and even some of the people I'm sure you've interviewed today like it's really fantastic like what they're doing with like GPS tracking to help people to help make sure that somebody who might have some memory issues are not being you know um, uh, unable to be located and it's just these things that we all know that I, I take a lot of a lot of pride in knowing that we're helping people get to know these things and you know the the cast team just they really that's where I, t I talk about the the strength of the people of leading age if we're able to support the organization, we're able to support the industry, we're able to support every department, we're able to support cast, we're able to support marketing in a very effective way, then I think that this place will grow even further and it's just such a success already. But to get a bigger impact, and that's what we really want to do, is we want to have an impact on our members' day-to-day -day lives, on the people that live there, and what cast does with that is on the cutting edge of it. And it really is. And of all the associations I know, no one is on the cutting edge like cast and Maj is. I, I cannot agree with you more. I've been thoroughly impressed with uh, everything Maj and team have been doing. And another thing I have to share is every time I talk to you, I don't even have to charge my phone because there is so much energy <laughs> coming out of it here. So let me, let me, uh, let us close with something that you can share with the folks that want to be successful in this industry. What is one profound piece of advice that you can share based on your experience so far? I have said often that cliches are cliches because they stand the test of time. There are um, tons of quotes out there that are in publications. I believe you wrote a book uh, with a lot of quotes that were compiled yeah, I, there. I tried. But these things that are residual and they stay, stand the test of time, they are that way because they're true, right? So there's dress for the job you want, not the job that you have. I've always believed with that. You know, I mean, if you really kind of look at what it is that, you know, people have tried to pass down in a succinct way is very helpful. Um, and I tried to shortcut that once. I asked my father, I said to him once, I said, you know, Pops, everyone says if I knew now, what, if I knew then what I know now, I would be so much more successful. I said, Dad, can you just tell me what it is so I don't have to, like, continue to try to, like, decipher this code? And he goes, it's just experience. You just kind of have to go live through it. So I said, well, that makes sense. And then I, what I wanted to do was try to look at any s significant pieces of advice that I knew that I could kind of apply as I'm going through my experiences, you know? So, you know, a, a big key to leadership and success is being able to be positive. 
People don't write books on how to be negative because it's instinctually easy, but it's a trap that people fall into. And if you can stay positive and you can stay in a way where you're engaging people, then you'll get great people around you. You'll get people who will stay engaged with you long term. You and I have been friends for 10 years. Um, we've always had a good time. We've always accomplished a lot of great stuff. And it's really about just maintaining a positive way of dealing with people and treating them the way you would want to be treated. And then you would find that the doors open up and that you have a wonderful group of people around you and that then the sky's just the limit. And it's, it's wonderful. It's why I've always enjoyed working with you and a lot of my other colleagues. So I think that you know, if you try to remain positive and don't fall into the negativity trap, it would amaze people how that would change their career instantly. Well, I told you. The reason I don't charge my phone is because of the energy and the positivity that comes <laughs> from talking to you. So thank you so much for spreading the positivity uh, in the my world pleasure. and the uh, impact that you have on this industry and wherever you go. You just make friends for life. Most thank definitely. you, Bert. Very much my pleasure, Shishi. Thank you so thank much. You, sir.